Hello guys welcome back to the channel and today in this video i am going to tell you about how you can earn primogems fast in genshin impact so i just log in to the game and the first thing i will do is to complete the daily commission so the, these are four daily commission and it resets every day so on completing this four daily commission it will reward you 10 primo gems each so it the total will be 40 and after completing the four daily mission comes come to adventurous guild and claim extra 20 as a bonus reward so on total completing the daily commission will give you 60 primo gems per day and you can earn 60 promotions every day by completing this daily commission reward okay so let's go and complete the our daily commission Whirling snow. Astra Abyss. Thank you for completing today's. So, as you guys can see, my daily commission has been completed and I earn 60 primogems on completing the daily commission report. Okay. So, the last thing is after completing the daily commission, your story quest. Look, you have to complete a daily commission it means two days 120 premium gems you can earn by completing eight daily quest and by completing the eight daily quest you will earn a story key on getting a story key go to this story lines of every character don't take this story quest it, it's a very lengthy process ending ending story hangout story don't take the hangout stories take the story quest after going to the story quest just unlock any one of them okay i can't unlock these red ones but you can unlock the this like kazuha kokomi yula hutao albedo I already unlocked so many of them so you can unlock any one of them like I'm unlocking this by unlocking them there is a new story quest will be added to your list as you can as you guys can see there are so many story quests I have here so don't go for this quest chain reward okay the secret behind this story quest is after completing the story quest you will earn 60 primogems okay after completing the story quest you will earn a 60 primogems each each story quest so as you guys see i have a uh, plenty of story quests huh, left to complete one two three four five six seven seven story quest and if you are doing the daily commissions every day then you can complete all these quests like if i count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so there is a total of 19 or probably hoyoverse will add some more story quest but, but for right now we have a 19 story quest and if i multiply 19 to 60 primogems on each story quest it will give me 1140 primogems on completing all of this story quest <coughs> and you can earn you can earn the key to unlocking the quest after completing a daily mission so it so it's two days okay so keep
keep this thing in mind uh, after two day just come to story quest menu claim the key and unlock a story quest and complete it as soon as possible okay after the com after completing the sto story quest if you uh, if you don't have any story quests or key left you can always go to your event page and check for if there is any new event which are going on like there is still going a wind trace event and if i check the rewards 40 40 80 120 160 200 240 270 300 330 360 390 and 420 so on completing the win trace win trace coin reward you will earn 420 premium gems and an extra moras and some ascent materials so it's worth doing the any event is still going on okay so you can complete the win trace event it's still seven days left at the time of recording okay and if you already completed the akitsu kimo dami shi then you already earn so many rewards by completing this like 60 60 120 and in man lay 120 again so it 240 then uh, 240 and 240 it would be 480 and uh, if i go to the third day so f again 480 plus 240 it will give you 720 premiums on completing the Akitsu Kemodash Meshi. So the 720 and uh, and the next is test run. On completing the five star test runs, it will reward you 20 premiums. So if you test run Radio Shogun, 20 premiums, and on Kami Satoyato, 20 premiums. So it will give you 40 premiums on trying the test run okay there's a new feature also called battlefield of dice it uh, if you want to on leveling up in this tcg card system it will also reward you with primo gem so if you uh, don't have anything to do right now you can just play the cards tcg card game with any player you want and level up and earn some Primo gems reward. Uh, let me show you. Okay, and uh, click on level rewards. And as you guys seen, see on level first you will earn sixty primo gems. On level two, sixty, and so on. So if you level up in the TCG card game you can also earn, earn 60 promotions on leveling up my other levels are unlocked like here you can see on third level 60 promotions fourth 60 fifth 60 60 so if you, if you don't have anything to do just log it to your game complete the daily key co commission on the story key unlock the story key do complete the story key and just come to level up your tcg card system and you can earn some more rewards also okay okay so next thing is spiral away see so on the first and the 16th day of each month the spiral ABC will be reset so you can go to spiral ABC and challenge and earn some a total of if you all clear all the 12th floor then you earn then you will earn a 2400 premium gems and if you if you if you don't have a team to complete the all the 12 floors you just 
try to complete some of the floors which can which will give you some of the rewards like not the total of 2400 but at least uh, 1500 or 1800 or 1200 premium gems so it would be a nice thing okay guys so the next thing is uh, like this is my map okay so explore your region okay just just see this like exploration progress 30 percent exploration progress 50 percent exploration progress 66 percent so if you guys think there is a region where your exploration is not sufficient or some region which is un yet to be unlocked okay so go to those regions and open chest try to battle with some enemies open the chest and it will reward you with new and it will reward you with primo gems so like if i unlock all these region and complete all the quest here it will give me so many primo gems okay like uh, this region 49 percent 46 percent 58 25 40 25 so try to explore more and more by exploring more and more you will either you will earn some quest by talking to any npc and on completing that world quest it will give you some of the very interesting rewards primo gems and uh, like let me show you So these all are my world quest okay like this this world quest will give me 40 primo gems 40 40 50 and a key and 30 primo gems 60 primo gems 30 primo gems 40 primo gems so try to explore more and more if you explore the area which is not the sufficient exploration percentage go to that location or go to that region and explore more and more either you find the chest which contain artifacts adventure uh, experience uh, and primo gems or you can just fi uh, find a npc who will give you a world quest on completing the world quest you will uh, earn primo gems again so try to explore more and more as you can guys can see monster Liue, inazuma inakomia so this is my region i didn't explore this very much it's still 28 percent so if i want if i want to earn premier gems fast i will go to this map and try to explore it more and more either npc will give me a quest or either i collect some chest which give me adventure experience artifacts moras and primo gems okay so the next is serenity pot so if you level up your trust rank in the serenity pod it will reward you with primo gems and some extra materials like let me show you trust rank right now i am on level 3 okay if i click on rank bonus on level 3 i earn 60 primo gems on level 2 60 primo gems level 1 60 primo gems and if i go to level 4 it will give me 60 primo gems again level 5 60 primo gems level 6 60 primo gems level 7 60 primo gems so how you can rank this trust how you can level up this trust rank trust rank as fast as you can so you have to create you have to create furnishing like on level 3 i can create only two furnishing okay so if you are like uh, not playing uh, if you have just poor come to serenity pot on the uh, or you can or uh, you can also do one thing uh, on when you are about to log out just come to serenity pod and 
create any any one of these who has this blue marking on it like this 60 and the sign of serenity pod don't create this one this i already created it once so it will not reward me with trust rank experience this 60 and the sign of serenity pod this is the this we need to level up our serenity pod so only create this this which furnishing has this blue marking on it okay so in this way you can earn as much primo gems as you can by leveling up your serenity pot okay this wood you can farm anywhere while exploring your region if you ever have it Let me sum it up for you like how many prim primo gems you can earn until the Jensen impact 3.4 will be live as you guys know there is a new car two new characters a five star and a four star character and a rerun of Zhao so if you want them in your team then you have to farm the primo gems and save it for Jensen impact 3.4